good morning students students this lesson is of class 9 for the subject of mathematics topic irrational numbers and is being submitted to you on 3rd may 2021 students in today's lesson we will learn about irrational numbers okay then we will learn about how to represent irrational numbers on the number line is it clear children so let us start today's lesson with the rational number so now children everyone knows what are rational numbers now children any number which can be expressed in the form of p upon q where q is not equal to 0 are said to be rational numbers okay so 5 one upon 5 that is your rational number 7 upon 19 that is your rational number and number minus 5 is also a rational number because you can write minus 5 as minus 5 upon 1 is it clear children these are rational number and you know that in the previous lesson we have discussed that it can be represented in the decimal form as a terminating terminating decimals or it can be expressed as non terminating but repeating okay so these are also the form of rational numbers okay so non terminating and repeating is it clear children so these all are the rational numbers now children today's topic is our irrational numbers So now, children, in a simple language, irrational numbers are those numbers which cannot be represented in the form of p upon q. It cannot be represented as a form of p upon q. And when it is expressed in the decimal form, then you will get non-terminating. What is that? Non-terminating. and non recurring or non repeating fine children what are irrational numbers irrational numbers are those numbers when expressed in decimal form give you non terminating and non recurring now children i'll give you the examples of irrational numbers now children all the square roots which are not perfect squares Are your irrational number like square root of five? This is irrational number. You can write many more. Under root seventeen, that is your irrational number. Cube root of twenty nine, that is also an irrational number. And now, children, when we talk about irrational number in the form of decimal, then your examples are. I'll give you. It is. Two point zero one two four six eight dot 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 so on. Okay, so now children here you can see that here it is non terminating. It never end up, and it is non repeating. You can see that the decimal digits are non repeating. I'll give you one more example. Now children here sixteen point zero one zero 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 one. Zero zero one, okay, and so on. Fine. So these all are your irrational numbers. Now, children, let me ask you a question. Now, children, can you tell me whether this is a rational number or irrational number? Now, tell me root twenty. Okay, root twenty. Is this a rational or irrational? It's irrational. Now, tell me root. Sixteen, is this a rational or irrational? Now, children, this is your rational number. Why so? Because square root sixteen can be written as four. Okay, so it becomes your rational number. Fine, children. Now tell me whether this is rational or not. Zero point two five six eight. This is a rational or irrational? Yes, you are right. This is your rational. because this is a terminating decimal so all the terminating decimals are rationals 
okay so this is your rashtrim and now tell me the last one 10.2562 and so on what is this this is an example of irrational numbers is it clear children because this is non terminating and non repeating so this is your irrational number i hope children everyone is clear with rational and irrational numbers now children let us see how to draw a rational number on the number line okay now children listen carefully it is very important now how to draw a irrational number on the number line now children i am starting with the very first one that is square root 2 i guess everyone knows that this is an irrational number okay so let's see how to do how to represent irrational numbers on the number line now children your first step is find write the root 2 in the form of squares now children 2 can you write 2 as 1 square plus 1 square you will get the same answer now children your first step is write square root 2 as the sum of two squares i can write 1 square plus 1 square it will give you square root 2 okay now let's see how to uh, draw this on the number line let me take a number line here now children it is you have to draw a number line fine and on the center it is your zero take your zero or o anywhere fine now the first one is one square now children from zero you have to take one unit fine what you have to take you have to take here one unit let's write it a this is your a fine and now this is your one now at point a you have to draw a perpendicular what you have to do you have to draw a perpendicular at point o okay a so now this is your perpendicular now children next step is look at the next sum this is one now from a you have to cut here one unit means it should be 1 cm or 1 unit okay this is also one and this is also one so now children the last step is join now you can write this as b and now you can join 0 to b now children this number is going to represent your root 2 i'll write here this is your root 2 okay this value is your root Two, fine. So, but this is not on the number line. So now, what you will do from compass, take O B as a radius and O as a center. Now, O B as a radius and O as a center. From here, cut or draw an arc here. From here, you have to draw an arc. Okay, now children. So this one. Q point that is a dash is going to represent root two on the number line. Okay, children. So there are few steps which you have to follow. Now let me explain you one more time this one because this is very important how to draw. Now, children, again I am telling you how to represent root two on the number line. Now, children, what you will do, you will just write root two in the form of square addition of two squares. so you can write 2 as 1 square plus 1 square because it will give you root 2 next step is you have to draw a number line what you will do you will draw a number line over here okay so now children can you tell me what is the first one here your first is here 1 okay so you have to take one unit on the x axis this is 1 you can take one over here let's mark a point here zero a and if you write one more it will be whatever you can take let us take y okay so now 
from here zero to a it is only one unit okay children do you remember the next step what you have to do you have to draw a perpendicular to a now you have to draw a perpendicular line this is your perpendicular line and now you can mark that point as now what is the second one the next point is one now from a take one unit here and it will be b so now children this is one this is also one unit now next thing is join zero o to b okay now children this zero b or ob is going to represent your root 2 but you have to show this root 2 on the number line so what you will take you will take out your compass now zero as a center and ob as a radius ob as a radius and o as a center draw an arc over here so now children this point that is a dash is going to represent root 2 i hope children you are clear with this how to draw root 2 on the number line so now let's move on to our second one that is root 3 now children you have to draw root 3 on the number line so let us write this as a square of two numbers so now children root 3 can be written as root 2 square plus 1 square okay now i'll show you in the on the rough side that how it has your answer is root 3 now children root 2 square can you tell me what is root 2 square that is 2 and what is 1 square 1 and 2 plus 1 is 3 so it is same only okay so now you can write this as a root 2 square plus 1 square okay children so this is very easy now you know your next step what you have to draw you have to draw a number line here fine and then the next thing is what you will do what you will do children now mark a point here zero fine then mark point here one or a and take the next value y or b or c whatever you want this is c this is one unit this is one unit now children first is root 2 square so now children first you have to show root 2 on the number line so how will you do this is your one unit okay children now draw a perpendicular to point a okay so let's draw a perpendicular fine and now we are making root 2 first now children here from a mark take one unit from here and mark this point as b now you have to join o to b with the help of scale now children this is your root 2 actually okay so now take your take out your compass with o as a center and ob as a radius draw an arc on the x axis okay children so this is your new point that is a dash is actually root 2 this is what children root 2 this value again i am writing this is your root 2 now children first you have made root 2 now at root 2 that is at a dash you have to draw a line perpendicular line okay children because this is your root 2 now you have to draw a perpendicular you have to draw a perpendicular and now mark a point here a dash point here because the second value is 1 so mark your point here b dash okay so now this is root 2 this is your 1 and the last step is join o to b dash now children this value is going to represent your root 3 okay now you have to represent this ob dash now i'm writing again your ob dash is actually root 3 but you have to represent this on the horizontal line so what you will do you will take a compass o as a center and ob dash as a radius draw an arc here 
So now children, this point, you can name it. This point is your root three. So let's give any name, let's give it D. So children, OD is actually going to represent your root three. I hope children, you are clear with this. Please uh, remember this thing, this is very important. Now children, let's come to the another topic that is your how to find a rational num irrational number between two given numbers, okay? Now children, we are having two and three, any two numbers, you have to find an uh, irrational number between these two numbers. So children, it's very easy. Your irrational numbers between these two will be square root two multiply three, okay? What is that? Root six. What you have to do here, you just have to multiply both the things and that will be the irrational number between two given numbers. I repeat one more time here. Now children, if you want to find an irrational number between these two numbers, what you will do? The irrational number will be square root two multiply three. So that is root six. So it means children, root six is going to lie between two and three. Now children, if you want to find further, okay, so what you will do in that case, I let you that also, let's take this example only. If you want to find more number between, more irrational number between these two, so what you will do, first you will find the square of this and this also. Can you tell me what is the square of two? That is four. What is the square of three? That is nine. So now children, what, is, what are the numbers between four and nine? That is five, six, seven, and eight. These are the numbers between these two numbers. So now square root all the numbers, okay? So these are the irrational numbers between two and three, because children, you can see that root four is your two and root five will remain root five. It is root six, root seven, root eight. And here it is three because square root three is nine. So these are the numbers between two given numbers. Let me discuss one more children. It's very easy. It's not difficult. Let me tell you another one. Let's take any one example that is six and seven. Okay, now you have to find the irrational number between six and seven. Is it clear, children? So now what you will do, I told you first find the square and then we will find the square root. Now tell me what is the square of six? That is 36. What is the square of seven? 49. The numbers, uh, you can find so many numbers. 36, can you tell me the numbers? 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, you want more, you can write. I'm taking only these many. So these are 49, less than 49. Now, uh, next step is square root all the numbers. Okay, you have to square root all the numbers. Fine, children. So after, uh, when you have square root the numbers, you will get the numbers between six because root 36 is your six. So under root 37, under root 38, under root 39, under root 40, square root 41, square root 42, and square root 49 is seven. So all these numbers lie between, all these irrational numbers lie between six and seven. I guess children, you are clear with this. Now children, this is again a very important topic that how to prove that root two is an irrational number? Now, this is again a very important topic. Now, children, let's discuss how to prove that root two is an irrational number. We know that root two is an irrational, but how to prove it? Now, children, what we will do, in the beginning only, we will assume that 
root 2 is a rational number. What you will do? You will just think that this is a rational number. So children, you know that if it is a rational number, you can write root 2 in the form of rational, that is P upon Q. Okay. So further you can write P is equal to root 2 Q. Okay. Fine. So squaring both the sides, you will get P square. Root 2 square is 2 and Q square. So from here, children, you can say that that P square is an is a is an even number, or you can say that it is an even number or it is a factor of two. Or we can say that also that P is also a factor of two. Okay. So now children, as P is a factor of two, so you can write that P is equal to 2m because it is a factor. So you can write that it is your it is your 2. M. Is it clear, children? Now let's see if it is P is equal to 2M. And now if I substitute this in my first equation, that is P squared is equal to 2Q squared, I will get, instead of P, I'm going to put 2M. So I will get 4M squared is equal to 2Q squared. So you can cancel here. It will become 2. Is it clear, children? So now, you will get Q square is equal to 2M square. So here you can say that Q square is also an even number. Okay, so further you can say that Q is also a even, an even number or as a factor of two. So here you can write Q is equal to 2M. Now children, you can see that P is equal to 2M. And Q is equal to 2N. Both are having common factor as 2. Okay. And children, this is a contradictory. Because in the beginning only, you know that if this is a rational number, then there is nothing common in P and Q. Okay. But when we have proved that P and Q right now is having common factor as 2. Okay. P and Q are having common factor as 2. So this is totally contradictory. It means we can say that our assumption is wrong. Okay. Our assumption is wrong. And you can say that root 2 is not a rational number. Actually, it is an irrational number. Okay, children. I hope you are clear with this. Now, children, if you face any problem, Please look at this video one more time. You will be clear with your concept. Thank you, students.